past fatal heart impact, past painful scars. In fact, I blast tasteful bars and past I back up my actions. Fact, don't mask, grab reactions, jack attack with every word and act with class as they hear me snap. I got nothing to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one confused, call the shots and they produce. I ain't lost, I'm finally loose. Pick a new so for excuse, I need the views to boost me to a new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a piece now, y'all can rest in peace now. You're dead to me, so peace out. Remember, you're discreet now. Get ready for the Alrighty, hello, hello everybody. This is Kiru Show here. And now, whenever we last left off with this series, we had Izuku Midoriya. And well, what happened in the last part was quite simple. For the first time in six months, Midoriya left Mutant Town. He went to go see his parents and his little sister, and he also did go to see the X-Men, seeing how things were with them. Now, Midoriya, he did then learn from Laura that something might be going on with Kitty and Kirk. This then being where Midoriya did leave with Irma, and he did watch the way the two were acting whenever they went inside. Now, with that being said, it has been roughly one week. And Midoriya, he still has not yet talked to Kitty about anything. Whenever he last saw her, she was with Kirk. And that's all that really is going through Midoriya's mind. She might be with him. And the two might actually be, well, dating now. Him and her are on a break. So what does that even really mean? Now, Midoriya does actually go to finish up his task. Him currently working on an engine as something does fall onto his finger. Midoriya actually going to grab it and pull it up. Pulling out his finger and shaking it off. As he does talk about how that hurt a lot. Him then cursing like a sailor. Now, the person helping Midoriya does just tell him to calm down. Don't tell me how to calm down. Besides, you're not the one down here. Now, Midoriya, he d then does scoot back underneath the car. As he does go to change the oil, oil on it, along with actually reconnect some wires. And replace some old ones. Now, he then actually does get out from underneath the car after the guy does pull him out. And... He does then reconnect the battery, talking about how he should give it a shot now. The guy is going to turn the car on as it does successfully start. I'm giving Midori a thumbs up saying thanks. Mm. Don't worry about it. <sighs> you okay, dude? I'm fine. Just got a lot on my mind. Mm. Doesn't everyone? This would be whenever the guy does go to leave with the car. Talking about how him and these people do need to go to do this. Now, this would be whenever Midoriya, he does actually go to walk over to a sink. And go to wash the oil off of his hands. Now, you do actually then have Irma, who does come walking into the room. Seeing Midoriya and asking him exactly if he's okay. Him turning his head and seeing her. Hmm? Yeah, I'm fine. Her then walking up to him. Asking if he's really sure. Yeah, I'm... Sure, what's up? Not much, not much. Just wanted to stop by and see how you were doing. Really? Uh, I'm... Okay. I just have a lot on my mind since, well, the mansion. Me and, well, my girl, my girlfriend, Kitty, we're going through a bit of a rough patch. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. Her actually wrapping her arms around him. And somewhat leaning up a bit, saying that, that does sound like a big problem. Hmm? Whoa, whoa, hey, 
What are you doing? Hmm? Well, I think you just cut loose a bit, don't you? Hmm. Wow. Okay. As fun as that does sound, I think you're a bit too far over the... Well, Mark. Her leaning a bit close. Saying that, that doesn't sound as much fun. Besides, they've known each other for a while, haven't they? Hmm? But are we actually leaning in and saying that they have, actually? However, he prefers things old school. And that if she's going to at least try to, well, do that, then she should at least get to know him a little bit better. And that as fun as this would be, it's her, him then hearing, hello, from somewhere. Turning his head and seeing Laura and Irma? Hmm? Who? Wait, your sister's in town? This being where the Stedford next to Laura does say that, yes, her sister's in town. And what is Celeste doing here? Roy really turning and being confused. However, he does put it together quite quickly turning his head and saying that she must be Celeste. Hmm, very smart. Now, her then letting go of him, saying that she is. She was quite interested to see exactly what her sister did see in him. And he did actually go beyond her expectations. Hmm, okay, that didn't answer my question. Yeah, I'm her sister. Anyways... I came here to see what was going on, and see why my dreams have been getting a bit weird. Hmm. Okay. Noria then turning and asking Laura exactly why is she here that. Hmm? Well, I did come here to hang out and get away from everyone at the mansion, but I see you're a little busy. Hmm? Oh, please. Apparently from what I've heard, something's going on. Ah, uh, yeah. Things are a bit complicated back home. Or, yeah, I guess home. And I don't really want to get into it. Hmm. Oh, poor boy, poor boy. <sighs> Look at that. Her then saying a few things to teach her sister. Talking about how she left this cute little guy here hanging. And that he's all heartbroken. Hmm. Celeste, shut up. Why? I'm having my fun. Besides, I'm only teasing. Hmm. You're really getting annoying to me, you know. And what? Besides, I came here to talk to you. Now, these two do actually go away for a second. Leaving Midori and Laura. As he does ask her exactly why, why is she here? Hmm. <sighs> a lot of things, but really, I wanted to give this place a shot. Hmm? Yeah. Come out here, see what they have to offer. I talked to Logan about it, and apparently he spent some time here whenever he was younger. It did him some good. So... I want to give it a shot. See if I can't ask Mr. M something. Hmm. Well, you can ask him, sure. But I need to ask him a question myself. Hmm. Alright. Well, what are you doing? Him saying that he was just repairing a car before Celeste apparently came up to talk to him. Laura then at least teasing that she was a bit too friendly, wasn't she? Now, this is whenever Midoriya, he actually would go to walk away, telling her that his apartment building is over there, and that he'd tell Mr. M about her. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll go over there then. How are they going to leave? Midoriya watching as she does drive past him on her motorcycle. And he does just think, Again? Now. With that, he does walk to Mr. M's workshop. 
which will just be down two blocks. Whenever he does get there, he does actually walk in asking him if he does have time to chat. Mr. M, not even looking up from an old microwave he's repairing, asking the boy exactly what's going on. Well, Mr. M, I've been trying to think and figure some stuff out. Hmm? That's good. Yeah, it isn't about Mutant Town or anything like that, though. It's actually about, well, you know. Hmm? No, I don't, young man. I don't pry into people's personal lives, remember? Okay, but you at least look into the future, right? Hmm? Yes, I will admit I have done that before. So, you've looked into mine, then? Hmm. Yours, mine, a few others. However, I can't see past a couple points, I'll have you know. Okay. So... Would you be able to see what's going on with somebody right here and now? Or even the past? Yes, I would. Why is that? Is there someone you wish to check on? Or have me check on for you? Well, actually... I was hoping you can check something. My girlfriend, Kitty. Me and her are... Well, we've had a bit of a rocky relationship. And one of my friends told me that she might be... Oh. Oh, young man, I'm sorry. I really don't think that would be a good idea. Hmm? Why? Well, I mean, I can't just... Please. But I would go on stating. Telling Mr. M that this idea that was put into his head, it's been just there. And he even thinks he saw something he shouldn't have. Hmm? Uh, young man, if I do do this, I could, well, change a lot for you. Hmm? What are you talking about? I can change everything for you. If you go down this route, you are aware that... I, I don't care, hmm? I just want to have some peace of mind. I haven't had that in a long time. Whenever I finally get it, it might just go away. Please, you have to understand. I'm trying to stay calm, but I can't. Besides, I just... I'm happy for the first time. I don't want to jeopardize it. And then that happened. Huh. Now, Mr. M does just look away. As he does look into this Fermidoria. His expression changing quickly. As he does look back to him saying that he can tell him the truth. Is that what he does want? Hmm? Yes. Are you sure? Be aware that from this point forwards, everything can change for you. And, knowing this information, it can hurt a lot of people. It can hurt you. And, don't do anything brash, do you understand me? Otherwise, I'll rewind time again and stop this conversation. Hmm? Wait, again? Hmm? I've said too much. Wait, we've had this conversation before. Yes. We have. <sighs> And your powers come back. What? Yes. I suppose I should tell you and be truthful then, if I'm saying all this. Your powers come back. Once you go in the truth, you go ballistic. And you go to talk to your friend. You go to the Xavier Mansion. And you accidentally kill him. After that, you're set down the path of becoming a villain. No. I, I mean, I wouldn't. I don't... Now, 
Really does bring his hand up. Saying that he wouldn't do that. Besides, he hasn't had his powers in... Him looking down to see his hand. Which, surprise, surprise, has changed. Roy looking at that, he's just going to try and flick it away. The moment he actually just flick his wrist downwards, he does watch as his fingers do return to normal. What the hell? You did that to me, didn't you? Hmm? No, I didn't. That was you. I know it was. My, my power was there. No. Not now. No. Roya dropping to the ground, somewhat defeated. Mr. M saying that he's very sorry. And that he will tell him the truth. But keep a calm mind. Roya just saying yes in a very defeated tone. Mr. M stating that. There is something going on between them, and that is as much as he will say. It's been going on for a little over a year now. Now, that last part is what hit Midoriya hard, since this mean this has been going on since before he died. Now, Midoriya does just turn and run, Mr. M making sure to look after the boy watching as Midori goes running away from the exit and towards his apartment building. Now, with that being said, Midori would get there, as Mr. M would leave him alone. Him knowing that Midori will not leave this place. At least, he won't go back to the mansion. Now, Midori, he is sitting up in his apartment as he's leaning against the door, trying to just think. This can't be possible. Shit. They're coming back. No, 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 no. But I don't want to kill anyone. I don't want to kill anyone. I don't want to kill anyone. That being what Midori does say over and over again, until Sony does knock on his door. Midori jumping up quickly and turning around before ripping it open. As we do have the Stedfords and Laura. All just standing there. As they ask him if he's okay. Hmm? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm? You sure? Because someone said you came running in here like a bat out of hell. Yeah, um... That's just a bit complicated. I mean, I... I went to go talk to Mr. M, and he told me... <sighs> Damn it. You were right, Laura. You were right. Hmm? Right about what? Oh! Oh my god. I'm... Yeah. Over a year. Yikes. Wait, I'm confused. What's he talking about? Celeste would go on stating. Now, this would be whenever you have Arma, who actually would psychically link up to her sister. As she does it say, oh, before they do then look at Midoriya. As they do try and tell him that he'll be okay. Now, Midoriya does say that they were together for a few years. And, apparently, all this has been going on since before he died. He doesn't understand. This was before she learned that he was the Phoenix. This is before anything. I don't get it. Midoriya is just getting angry. As Lord is just tell Midoriya to calm down. They'll take him somewhere, and they can calm him down. Hmm? Where are you going to take me? Hmm? Where do you want to go? Uh, I don't know. <sighs> I haven't really thought about it before. Well, you can ask Mr. M, right? He'll open a portal to anywhere, any location in the world. Can he take you to the moon? I, I don't know. I've never asked him. <sighs> 
Fine. Let's go somewhere. I don't care. Mm. I don't. I know something that would be quite fun. Yeah. This is whenever she does, Laura does drag Irma and Celeste away. As they do go to talk to Mr. M. Now, we do actually then cut over to a few minutes later. After Midoriya, he was told to get his keys. Midoriya doing so and finding these three outside the building. As you do have the Stedford twins on a bike. And Laura saying to Midoriya that she's driving. Midoriya just talks and the keys over to her. It seems like he doesn't really care. Now, Midoriya then just hop on the bike with Laura. As they do drive through a portal at the end of a street. Now, this is whenever they do pop out somewhere. And they do actually stop by a beach. They're really confused and asking exactly where are they. Well, we're on the coast. I see that, but where? Fine. We're in, I don't know, I think. I, ah, I don't know. <sighs> we're close by Sacramento. Hmm? I don't know what that is. It's a large city. Anyways, we're here to basically calm you down. Or at least get you to take your mind off of everything. Sure. Now, they all do actually try to cheer Midori up. Hang out at the beach and have some fun. And they even do leave the beach after some time. Taking Midoriya around the town. As Midoriya, he does head to an arcade. And they even do stop by another place. As they do drive to another area and head through another portal. That Mr. M did have located there. Now, they do actually arrive in Paris. And Midoriya, he was surprised seeing this. As he was asking exactly why are they here. Then trying to explain a few things that they can do here. Now, Midoriya and all th these three do have a blast throughout the entire day. Basically driving through portals and checking out places all over the world. Since Mr. M did tell them where the portals were located and that he mainly uses them to travel from place to place. Now, eventually we do have Midoriya, who they all did get back to, the Mutant City. And he actually did have a bit more fun today than he did think. As all of them are sitting down for dinner. Now, Midoriya would just ask them exactly why did they all cheer him up? Hmm? Well, we're friends. Yeah. We are friends, Izuku. Celeste just saying that he was pretty hot. And Irma just saying to shut up. Now, Midoriya did laugh a bit at that. As they all do eat and then go back to Midoriya's apartment. Now, Mr. M did make Laura her own place. It being directly across from Midoriya's apartment. Now, Midoriya and everyone are all hanging out. As Midoriya does actually go to walk outside. And look over everything with the patio. Ah, <sighs> this place. Hmm? This being where Laura does actually stand up and go to walk outside. As the two Stafford sisters are both arguing. Over which place was better. This city in this country, or this city in this country. Now, Midoriya and Laura are both chatting. And, she does ask him if he's going to still be, well, you know, heartbroken. <sighs> yeah, 
I am. Um, me and Kitty were together for over three years. And that's not something that you can just erase. I mean, you can. Hmm? Yeah. I mean, I came to Mr. Ander to get my past erased. Or at least my trigger erased. Every day, I think about it. My life has been just as fucked up. Probably even more than yours. Not trying to compete, just saying. It's all been messy. Yeah, I know. You were an assassin, right? Yeah, I was. My life's just been messier and messier from the get-go. And I've been trying to make up for it every day. Mm. I get it. I'm still trying to make up for the 50 people back then. Mm. You don't have to. Mm. It wasn't your fault. Neither was your past. Mm. You don't know how many years I've waited to hear those somebody say those words. I just don't know. It's just now. This is whenever the Stafford twins do both tell them to come back inside. And that they're going to freeze out there. Laura shouting that it's the, still the end of summer. And that it's fine out here. Now, Noe does someone laugh, talking about how that was pretty funny. Now, Laura does just tell Noe to shut up. Hmm. Besides, sometimes relationships can be complicated, overrated. I don't know, I've never been in one. Hmm? What? You've never been in a relationship? Yeah. I know. I sound stupid. Hmm? I mean, I don't really blame you. Hmm? I mean, with the way you act... Hey, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'm not trying to say anything. Besides, I thought it was pretty funny. You know? Yeah, I know. I know. Now, this will be where Midori and Laura do both stand there for a minute. As we do have the Stafford twins. Celeste actually walking out and going straight to Midoriya. Her wrapping her arm around him and turning his face. As she does go to kiss him. Now, Laura would just look at this in complete shock. As Midoriya, he just stands there surprised. As Laura would go to pop her claws, saying to get off of him. Hmm. Now, just then pull back back away from Midoriya, saying that she knew it. Hmm. N knew what? That you had a thing for him. Uh. Now, Roy really just standing there confused. Okay. Uh. That was something. Midori going to wipe away the lipstick on his face. Laura just saying that, what if she does? Besides, she doesn't really understand it all. <sighs> just give the guy a kiss and give it a try. Hmm? I, I mean, I don't really... Hmm? Oh my, oh my. Izuku, be careful. It's her first kiss. This is whenever Laura does just say that she's not going to kiss him. And that, with all due respect to the dude, that he just got out of a breakup. Hmm? Really? Well, then I guess I'll just have to kiss him again. Now, whenever Celeste is going to do this, she actually is pulled away by Sophie. Or not Sophie. By Irma. Now, this is whenever Irma actually would kiss Izuku, which does piss off Laura even more. Now, 
Irma would actually pull back, saying that Midori is actually a very good kisser. Now, Laura, she actually does just grab Midori by both sides of his face and pull him in. Midori is still just confused by everything going on. Now, with that being said, after this is all said and done, these three are both talking, and a little competition is held. As we do have the next morning, where Midoriya, he does wake up on the couch with a headache, and he's trying to think about what happened last night. As you have Irma, Celeste, and Laura, who are all currently laying around him in the apartment. Now, Roy is on the couch with part of his shirt torn up. Him looking down at that and then seeing Laura and a Stedford sister. Roy not sure which one it is. However, he also does then look up towards the the what is it, the table, where there is a large bottle, and it's completely empty. Uh, what the hell? Laura, what the fuck? No, Roy does just go to jump up, as Laura actually does jump awake, and she actually does feel a bit queasy herself. Now, Roy would just run into the kitchen and puke in the sink. Now, with that being said and done, Midoriya then just asks them exactly what happened last night. And exactly what did Laura give them? Now, with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoyed. And have an amazing night. I'll catch you guys in the next part.